Step 2. Coherent versus incoherent light. How does matter radiate light? What are the sources of light? Let's consider a model of a simple two-level atom. We've got our ground state with energy Eg, and we've got an excited state with energy Ee. And this green uh, circle um, denotes in which state the atom is found. So currently it's in the ground state. In order to make light, we want to excite the atom to its higher state. We can do this thermally, so we give uh, the atom thermal energy, or we can do also do it with another photon. And if the energy of the photon is tuned just right so that it is equal to the energy difference between the energy of the excited state and the energy of the ground state, then the atom will become excited and move to uh, a state of higher energy. When it's there, we'll leave it alone for a while and at random time it will spontaneously de-excite, jump back into uh, the ground state, releasing its energy in the form of a photon. And the energy of this photon will be given by the energy difference between the excited state and uh, the energy of the ground state. This process is known as spontaneous emission. As I said, it is spontaneous, it happens at random time, and we don't have much control exactly when it happens. Now let's consider two such excited atoms. They're both sitting in their excited states, EE and EE. And if we wait some time, one of them de-excites into its ground state, and so does the other one. And while this happens, both of them give out light, as we said, and this light is traveling in some random directions, and also at, in some, at some random phases. So the two photons that are now, we have two sources of light, uh, the phases between these photons are different, and so are the di directions of travel. When this happens, we call such light incoherent light. Now you can ask yourself, what happens if we have many of these photons? Well, basically what you have is you've got a light bulb. So you've got some gas inside the light bulb and you've got a, a filament. If you turn on the switch, the electricity runs through the filament, it heats it up and starts giving off light. All those atoms inside the filament, they become excited. But this time, uh, the filament, the, the atoms in the filament don't just have a simple two-level uh, structure, there are many different levels. And as you give it thermal energy, uh, these atoms, they become excited to higher levels, some to slightly lower levels, so when they spontaneously emit, they give out light of different frequencies. And again, this light is traveling in all the possible directions, and because the emissions happen at different times, the light uh, has different phases. So to conclude, Incoherent light has different frequencies, it has different directions in which it is traveling, and it is out of phase, so it has different phases. On the other hand, a coherent light is the exact opposite of incoherent light. It is monochromatic, which means it only has a component of one frequency, it travels in the same direction, and uh, it, travels, it, it is in phase. So the question now is, what device outputs such a light? We saw a light bulb is a source of incoherent light. So what is the source of a coherent light? We're going to find it out in the next two steps.